it's not a uh, part of the neural or or even uh, non-neural anatomy. It's it's a field. It's like a magnetic field or an electric field in some respects, in the respects of a field, but it's uh, non-local even though it appears to be somewhat centered around the actual individual. It may be what some people call the uh, the aura, but it also has tentacles, if you would, that extend to through uh, time and space to mm. infinity. There's a Russian scientist named Budakovsky who ta who takes a holographic photograph of a healthy raspberry plant shines that light into a raspberry tumor and the tumor cells rearrange into healthy raspberry cells and it grows a new plant. Are you familiar with anything like that? Uh, well, I am. Uh, I'm, I wasn't aware of that experiment and would very much like to be because I'm looking for things that I can instrument and observe to try to come to some conclusions, but that to me is, uh, would be a necessity that things be that way. Right, and uh, uh, for example, one thing I found in human medicine, the human medicine, for example, uh, I've come to the conclusion and feel I can prove that to uh, any competent neuroanatomist that uh, the DNA is merely a factory that generates the physical part of the body. The DNA gets its information from the informational field, and how to do that. So you find that the informational field is eternal and holds the, 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 the spirit or the being or the information of the person in perfection. Whereas the perfection then runs through the factory. If the factory is missing the thing that puts the wheels on, the wheels are going to fall off, if you would. And so the, the DNA problems that you get with human uh, health and, and uh, anatomy are... Uh, errors that are in the uh, the DNA, which it appears are pretty much passed down through the family tree, and uh, but there's also information that comes down through the family tree, and there's information that's transmitted to heart tissue, uh, actually brain tissue that's in the heart, and that holds uh, most of the person's information about uh, emotional things and a lot of information about taste. For example, they found people with heart transplants, all of a sudden uh, they find that the person that was the donor was a very loving person, where the person who lost the heart lost it because of a lot of frustration and a lot of stress, and they were a person that wasn't a loving person. Now they become a very loving person, and the people around them have no idea how to relate to them. Does, so, e does each person have the same degree of contact with this information field or consciousness field? I don't, I would doubt that they do because they're all individual. Uh, I, I uh, for example, uh, there are people who just seem to be informationally troubled, if you would, which has nothing to do with being, you know, per personally troubled, but they seem to have problems even when you go in and correct things in their, th this is from a health field because I spent many years in that field, building uh, medical instruments and we they were all computerized and we had you know years and years and thousands of patient visits uh, that we could go back and take a look at and correlate the long-term data those the instruments have been out there now for uh, 28 years in the marketplace and uh, some 16,000 plus instruments around the the world and and uh, uh, well over a million and a half patient visits. So we uh, uh, have correlated that data and have shown that uh, much of this must be the way that things uh, are. So uh, like uh, the statement that uh, you made was one that I absolutely agree with, that, uh, that out of necessity there has to be uh, an informational field and out of necessity there has to be something that drives the DNA and then we find uh, now uh, we've done some experiments showing that we can uh, generate this field around the body and the body will act as if the DNA were perfect if they had uh, a genetic disease the genetic 
disease goes away. Now with the advent of stem cell research, we find out that we can use a person's own stem cells in the body and uh, heighten this field around the body and the cells they had that are replicable cells that had a genetic uh, problem, the genetic problem goes away because the informational field holds the perfect information rather than the flawed information of the, the gene itself. Well, that's like the Budakovsky raspberry thing I told you. Exactly. Tumor is exactly. transformed, yeah. Yep. How can someone strengthen their contact with this field that they have? Do you have any exercises or ways, technology perhaps, anything that they could uh, do? I have technology that could do that, and uh, that's one of the products that I intend to, uh, to come out with once we get the laboratory and factory completely built. Well, that's tantalizing. Well, I mean, what, <laughs> what have you done? Well, what could you do? What could it do for someone? Uh, we'll know that once we get it done and do the testing on it. So uh, I know what I think it would do. And, uh, you know, we've been very successful with these instruments. The American Medical Association publishes every year uh, the number of clinical diagnoses that their doctors, they feel that their doctors got correct. And this year it jumped all the way up to 6% from 5% the previous year. Uh, we have 85% of the patients that are uh, that use the medical equipment that I'm talking about, 85% of the patients feel that within two days they don't have what they had when they came. Do you believe in acupuncture points on the body? Well, I, I, I have to believe in them because they're there, and you can go to Radio Shack or you can go to Harbor Freight and buy a four or five dollar meter and uh, adjust the meter appropriately and run those on the body and find every one of the points, put a little dot there, go compare yourself to an acupuncture chart and you'll look exactly the same. And I did find out how the acupuncture system works. There have been a number of people that, that postulated it but they didn't show that it worked. And uh, I worked with Dr. Jean-Claude de Ross at the uh, French Institute of Science He's a very famous acupuncturist. He taught the Chinese acupuncture. Uh, they did away with acupuncture in the 20s and made it illegal, even though it was practiced down every alley. And then during the Cultural Revolution, they brought it back. And the reason for that was they had a huge plague, and acupuncture wouldn't cure the plague, but penicillin would. So the French missionaries brought in penicillin, and so they did away with acupuncture. And went with penicillin, but uh, acupuncture has its definite uses, as does uh, the, the uh, sister of acupuncture, which is Chinese herbal medicine. And uh, it makes sense if you put certain chemicals in the body and certain precursors, you're going to get certain chemical reactions out of the body. So uh, anyway, uh, the uh, acupuncture system is very interesting. What we did is we injected uh, radioactive potassium into each acupuncture point while the person was under a high-speed CAT scan machine and we found that the radioactivity moved directly to the organ associated with that point for oh the 3300 years that the Neijing has been around talking about it and for the 6200 years that uh, Ayurvedic medicine has been talking about it. So we found there was a direct correlation to the not, not only to the uh, the organ system, but the actual parts of it. For example, down the outside of the thumb, you have a point that gives you information about the entire lymphatic system uh, just below the first joint, but above the first joint, it talks about the lymphatics that are in the tonsillary ring. And when we inject here, the uh, radioactive material goes to the tonsillary ring. When we inject here, it goes to the whole lymphatic system. And you go down and it, it, it you know, goes on down the body. And the same thing. You know, as you work across the hand, you have lymph and lung and uh, circulation and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Come over here and you have the heart and the small intestine. And you can go down and inject here, and it goes to the mitral valve. Here it goes to the, the aorta. Here it goes to the, you know, this chamber, that chamber, et cetera, et cetera. And then you go down on the feet. The acupuncture points to the same thing. We also found that the acupuncture points, the acupuncture meridians, aren't veins. 